Hi everyone, in today's tutorial we'll look at isotonic solutions. Isotonic solutions are solutions that have identical osmotic pressures. Example, what is the concentration of sodium chloride in water which is needed to produce an aqua solution isotonic with blood plasma. Osmotic pressure is equal to 1,500 millimeters of mercury at 25 degrees Celsius. We we'll first need to convert osmotic pressure into atmospheres. Solution. We know that one atmosphere is equal to 7 CK steam millimeters of mercury. In this case, we have 1,500 millimeters mercury times 1 atmosphere over 7 CK steam millimeters of mercury. Then this will cancel. Then we divide, we get 1.97 atmospheres. So this is our osmotic pressure in atmospheres. We know that osmotic pressure is equal to MRT. Solving for M gives M is equal to osmotic pressure over RRT, which is equal to osmotic pressure 1.97 atmospheres over R 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole times T, which is 25 degrees in Kelvin, 298. Then the atmospheres cancel, Kelvin, Kelvin cancel. Then when we divide, we'll get. So we have M is equal to 1.97 over this times that to we'll get 24.45 liter per mole. Then we divide, we'll get 0 0.0806 more per liter. So this is the total concentration of the solute particles. The total concentration of solute particles is equal to 0 0.0806 more per liter. Now what is the contribution of sodium chloride? Contribution by sodium chloride. We know that sodium chloride will dissociate in water to form sodium ion plus chloride ion. So in this case, sodium chloride produces Sodium chloride produces two ions per unit formula. Per unit formula, two ions per unit formula. We have one sodium ion and one chloride ion. So total is two. Now we'll need to calculate the concentration of sodium chloride which is needed. Concentration of sodium chloride will be total concentration which is 0 0.0806 more per liter over two which comes from sodium chloride ions. 
when you divide we we'll get 0 0.0403 mole per liter so this is the concentration of sodium chloride which is needed thanks for watching in the next tutorial we'll look at henry's law don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye